Bryant's for three. Yes! Another three for Kobe Bryant, who's come on here in the fourth quarter. It's the first time the Lakers have led here in the second half. Paul Pierce is going to have to crowd Kobe and make him put the ball on the floor and hopefully get some help. Here's quite a shake-off walk. Davis not able to hit. You see, the Lakers can clog the lane because they have three guys out there right now that can't score. I'm surprised they don't maybe go put Eddie House out there and maybe go to a smaller lineup to get another shooter on the floor. Kobe Bryant has knocked down three threes here in this fourth quarter. Gasol sets the pick. Shot clock to seven. Bryant faces the double. Shot clock down to three. Gasol. Gasol with the rebound. And... It's a 24-second violation that did not make contact with the basket. That's one of those that Pau Gasol's got to go in and try to tear the rim down. You can't flip that shot because the Celtics were in a position they were going to have to foul. He sort of flipped one up there, and that's one of those plays that sort of aggravates Phil Jackson. He's played such a great ball game. Now watch this as he gets in the lane. This was the pr previous possession here. We had beautiful footwork, the little floating right-hand hook. And then Kobe Bryant, this is his third three, just steps back. Look at Paul Pierce, and he's got a hand in his face. I mean, that's just a great shot by a great, great player. Rondo Perkins and Big Baby on the floor, three guys who struggle to score. So can Paul Pierce and Ray Allen shake loose to get a good shot? Big Baby 0 for 5 on the night. We're down to 46 seconds left in the fourth quarter. The Lakers up by one that Celtic 12 game win streak on the line the Lakers have won their first four on the six game road trip Pierce guarded by Bryant gives it up and again it's Davis with the shot and again he's off but able to get back to it Pierce with the drive and draws the foul so Paul Pierce will head back to the line and I think they're calling the foul on Kobe Bryant right there on the drive just nudged Paul Pierce a little bit as he went into that shot. But how about Big Baby Davis? Misses the shot, presses the mind to follow the shot, and gives the uh, Celtics another possession. Yeah, because he's a kid who gets down on himself. I and mean, that's one of the things the Celtics have really worked with him on is keeping his uh, confidence up when he struggles. Well, the confidence there here tonight in the fourth quarter. Paul Pierce down 9 of 12 at the line. He is an 85% free throw shooter. You know, what happens, I'll tell you how this changes it. If Paul Pierce makes this, and it's a tie game, you almost give Kobe almost a free look at a shot rather than trailing. All of a sudden, now the game is tied. It's not looking to have to make a shot to take the lead. A little different game pressure. Five-second differential between the game clock and shot clock. Lakers 101. Celtics 101. To five. Bryant. Rebounded by Perkins. And a timeout called by the Celtics with seven and seven ten seconds remaining in the fourth. I'm not quite sure that was the shot Kobe wanted. And I thought he wanted really just to dance on him and pull up. When Paul Pierce made him turn his back, it was to his advantage. Right there, Paul Pierce has the advantage. It looked like it was good, just a little bit short. Boston ball, seven and seven, ten seconds remaining. And the fourth quarter of the game is tied. It was this past Tuesday night in Philadelphia. Came down to a final shot, and Ray Allen was able to knock it down with five tenths of a second remaining. This after he hit a shot from three-point range with 31 seconds to go. And now what Boston's done, they've gone all small. So they have Eddie House who can shoot it. You've got Paul Pierce and Ray Allen. Rondo a penetrator, and Tony Allen a guy who likes to drive. So they're going to put all kinds of pressure now on the Lakers to get a stop here with five guys who can all make a play. And Phil Jackson answers that by putting in Vujicic and taking out Lamar Odom. The chat of beat L.A. as Ray Allen gets set. 
to inbound. Pierce, down to five. Down to three. Two. Ball knocked away. Here's House. Swings it. And we are headed to overtime. That was off the palm of his hand. You know what? We saw two great defensive plays. Paul Pierce on the previous possession against Kobe. And a great job by Kobe Bryant to knock that ball loose from Paul Pierce. Two great defensive plays. We head to a five-minute overtime session. Lakers and Celtics tied at 101. where we have seen some drama, some chippiness, and some exciting play as we head to overtime. The Lakers playing only their second overtime game of the season. Uh, they lost to the Bobcats in double overtime at home. That was five games ago. Boston has won three of four wins at Milwaukee and Indiana here at home against the Pacers, and they lost at Charlotte, so three up and one down. Although overtime records have coming back from a... It's the Lakers. A two-point lead. To me, it's going to be, can Boston score? I mean, that's what it's going to come down with. Kevin Garnett out. They're really missing that other offensive player on the floor. Garnett fouling out late in the fourth quarter. Rondo, a nice change of pace move. The game is tied at 103. Rondo is that one X factor that the Celtics have. Because no one out there can match his speed. And Rondo has been hanging in after picking up... A fourth foul early on. Here is Fisher with a rainbow back tap chased down by Bryant. Kobe getting the Lakers back into it, hitting three late three pointers in the fourth. Bryant comes up short. Perkins rebounds. I'm not quite sure if that didn't slip out Kobe's hand. Allen with the step. Allen with the bucket. Boston by two. This is where Vujicic not playing well hurts the Lakers because Luke Walton does not have the foot speed to play against Ray Allen. Bryant for three. Rebound handled by Gasol. A minute and a half gone by in overtime. Gasol. Little scoop shot has tied the game at 105. He's 9 for 13, 21 points. A little slow on the rotation that time from the weak side of Boston. The slip of the pick by Gasol, that defender from Celtics. He's got to get there quicker. Allen chased by Fisher. Allen. Oh, he got the friendly run. Ray Allen doing a good job of not settling when he's coming off the screens for that shot. Doing a good job of driving the lanes, getting in to the paint, and making something happen. 22 for Allen. Boston by two. This is not what Phil Jackson had in mind coming off the game in Toronto last night. Going to overtime here in Boston. But he'll take it. Bryant for three. Celtics in possession, up by two with two and a half to go in the five-minute overtime. Kobe's trying to throw some overhand rights, two back-to-back three-pointers, trying to daze the Celtics. Allen saves the pass. They double up on him. Rondo give him the shot. Perkins hanging in, and it's deflected out. Last touch by the Lakers. Good job by Kendrick Perkins. Well, that's the flaw in the Rondo's game right there. You can see once they backed off in the lane and they forced him to shoot that jump shot, you could just see when he shot it, he didn't <laughs> no, believe it. He no did not confidence. believe it. Zero confidence in it. Coming up on two minutes to go in overtime. Pierce. Rebounded by Odom. Walton on the move. Has to kick it back. Here's Bryant. Draws the foul. It's a non-shooting foul. Tom Pierce. And look at Rondo right here. First play of overtime. Just does a good job of accelerating. Get into the paint. And Ray Allen with one catch. A couple dribbles using the glass. Not settling for outside shots. But Paul Pierce is doing a great job on Kobe here in the overtime. Nice pass to Odom and Gasol 